Jagdish Bhagwati was born in 1934 to a Gujarati family in Mumbai. He spent a lot of his career teaching at MIT and Columbia University. Bhagwati wrote a famous paper on what he called Directly Unproductive Profit-Seeking Activities, or DUPE. This is sometimes called rent-seeking behavior by other economists. The point here is simple. Often individuals invest their resources in trying to take or extract wealth from others, usually through politics, rather than producing or innovating. When this happens, it leads to lower rates of productivity growth in an economy. Bhagwati, along with Gordon Tullock and Ann Kruger, was one of the first economists to point out the importance of directly unproductive profit-seeking activities, or again, as it is often called, rent-seeking. For decades, Bhagwati has been a major advocate of free trade and globalization, and in many ways he has defended a classically liberal point of view on development economics. Bhagwati has a keen appreciation of the virtues of markets, and he also understands that in an open trading economy, the incentives are stronger for production and innovation, and the incentives are weaker for his directly unproductive, profit-seeking dupe activities. Bhagwati, however, has not been an advocate for free markets in all regards. In the late 1990s, he wrote some pieces arguing that free capital movements were not as good for developing economies as were the free movement of goods. When goods cross borders, what happens is that each economy becomes more productive and living standards go up. Bhagwati worried that when capital crossed borders, there was the risk that capital would first flow into a developing economy and then later be pulled out very rapidly, leading to a lot of unneeded volatility and also perhaps some financial crises. This argument was seen as very important during the Asian financial crises of the late 1990s at the time Bhagwati wrote. In sum, Bhagwati is one of the most important and most influential Indian development economists. He has made major contributions to the key areas of corruption, trade, and the flow of international capital.